community. Good morning. So we're starting to get some of my test results back. Apparently you're still alive. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. <laughs> my diabetes was slightly high, but they didn't do it fasting, so that could explain that. Um, and um, my vitamin B9 is low, which could explain why I'm so tired right now. Um, Which reminds me, we should probably find you a, my a multivitamin. I have a bottle somewhere. I'll find it. We'll take care of that. Um, we're still waiting for the major tests that he ran to come back. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where that our pe my paperwork went, but they wrote the number for physical therapy and for uh, me to schedule the CT scan. Mm -hmm. on there so I need to um, do those I need to call those and schedule those appointments so uh, gotta do that um, but yeah I'm worried about this flu because Kevin and I've been at the hospital with all these sick people and um, I think I caught a little bit of a cold, and I'm hoping it's just a cold, and it's not going to go into the full-blown flu. Yeah. Because with the B9 being low, it's also said that it'll affect my immune system. Yay! Well, let's get that working. So, Dave has the flu, so I haven't been talking with him for a couple of days, but that's because he's he says it's really, really bad. So for those of you who have the flu or have been through it, sorry, sorry to hear how bad it is. But And it kind of frightens me because I don't want to bring it home and I'm the one who's going out to people's houses doing work. And going to the doctors is a frightening experience because 90% of the people there have masks on. And I'm assuming it's because they don't want to catch the flu, not necessarily that they're there with the flu. But we just got an alert. From our hospital slash doctors yeah and it says it says alert the flu is causing high volumes of patient and longer wait times in urgent care and ER and it has a website too for recommendations well so. let's just hope uh, we don't end up having to go to urgent care or, or the ER or anything so we're maybe we should just Sit still for a little while. Hope nobody, we don't get too sick. Yeah. So, so I think our plans for today are to watch bad TV, and um, and do some uh, editing, which I'm way behind on. i am um, been too depressed slash busy trying to make a living to to get to it, and I really feel bad about it I want to get stuff done we've completely been ignoring our paranormal channel even though we have stuff to put up uh, and I really feel bad about that and it's a lot of work is the big thing and it's hard to uh, it's one of the things that I have to bury myself in to get it to happen and uh, there's too many things going on to, to actually do that so we'll see what happens if I go to sleep or color, then I don't bother him, and we can turn the TV off, and he can just concentrate. Yay. See how that works out. <laughs> well, I am pretty tired, so. We'll check back in with you guys later. We'll probably still be in these same spots, but we'll check in. <laughs> so that's the friendliest I've ever seen Mojo with anybody. Even though I got the um, butt end <laughs> by my face, she's just chilling. Cool. Yeah. So, everybody, here we are again, sitting in the same positions we were earlier. <laughs> Yay. But I'm feeling like a big pile of doo-doo. So, I definitely caught something when I was at the hospital. 
and um, they did call me and schedule me for my CAT scan on Tuesday. So we got to come up with the money for that. Today's doctor's appointment cost me about $150. Not today. Was yesterday. That today? Yesterday. Yeah. So, yeah. Which is why we did absolutely nothing today. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kevin gets a job, he makes money, and then I get sick and have to pay all these co-pays and stuff. Yeah. And it's, what's going on with me right now, we're not going to go into a lot of detail, but it's not something I can just push aside. It's something that's... Uh, could be pretty serious, so I had to. I have to get it checked out. So, um, so we had to go. I had to. We had to do it, which sucks because now we're back to <laughs> no money again. Yeah, well, and my battery didn't help. Exactly. Dollars for the battery, then, mm -hmm. then uh, all these doctors' appointments. Yeah. So, and I, I don't have any any work planned for the next week. I don't know what to do quite yet. Yeah. It's just horrible. I hate struggling like this. Mm -hmm. I know we're not the only people out there struggling. I know there's a lot of other people out there struggling and it's just really, really sucks. So, but anyway, um, what did you work on today, baby? Uh, all I did was uh, work on some PIN videos, basically. Just trying to map out the, the video before digging into it. I slept most of the day. I didn't even do any coloring, really. And I have my coloring stuff out right now. I don't know if I'm going to color or just <coughs> go back to sleep. Mm. <coughs> so, anyway, we're going to go ahead and call it an evening. I'm sorry for the short video, guys, but it's what happens when you have, when you're sick and you have no money. <laughs> so, you just sit around and do nothing. Um... So we hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. <laughs> if you did, please give us a favorite. Please give us a thumbs up. Please leave us a comment down below. Please share our video with your family and friends. But most of all, please subscribe. And we will see you all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now.